What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Hillman Show. Something different today. Um, I've been buying stuff. Buying stuff, shouldn't be doing it. Don't tell, please. But I'm uh, gonna get back into collecting. Yeah, obviously I do cards, um, but I'm starting to do electronics, consoles. I really want the Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow boxed Game Boy games. We'll get there, expensive at the moment, but I wanna start off with this. Hold on, wait there one sec. And we're going vintage. This is from uh, one of my mates who is actually the commentator of the Royals basketball team that we play for, professional team here in Melbourne, but none other than a Pokemon sticker book from 1999. You probably can't see that in the camera. Um, pretty good condition still. You got your hollow stickers there, which is unbelievable. I got another mate who is also in the Royals. Great basketball team. Check him out. Insta. Link below, but um, he's got a lot of stickers, which I'll fill it up and um, yeah, we'll put that one away for collection. As I said, I've been buying money during ISO. Thank you, ScoMo, you're the man. Um, yeah, eventually I want to collect every single Pokemon release, Game Boy console, Switch console, everything. It's obviously a lot of money, but it's the value of it at the moment is just skyrocketing. So I got a few things. Let me start off with this, which I've had for a little while, so it's not too exciting, but. We got the uh, Pokemon Edition Nintendo 2DS XL console. It's pretty good. We can play the old, uh, they release the old Pokemon games on here. So I'll, um, yeah, keep that one boxed up because these consoles now boxed up are worth a shit ton. Um, I may have ordered a few things which is coming, but just keep that under wraps. I've had to search through Japan as well because obviously Japan it's originated in Japan they've released a lot of stuff over there and then it comes here they get a lot of things we don't but um some of this stuff is a bit cheaper as well but we're gonna kick it back old school and Pokemon Yellow Game Boy from Japan in 1996 I think this is the boxed version obviously got your Pikachu the movie logo there Box is actually pretty good condition from what I've seen a lot online, but and it was pretty cheap. It was like forty bucks. Um, got it on eBay. It was I'm pretty happy with it. You got your game there. Obviously works as well. It's just in Japanese, and yeah, you got all the inserts. Jeez, look at that Game Boy Pocket. This is old school. Unbelievable. And then, yeah, your booklet there. Actually, Pokemon come out in 1996 over there, but I think they released Yellow a little bit later. So, 98 or 99, but that still is a collector's item, which is pretty sick. So, that's pretty cool, I think. Um, yeah, spending didn't stop there, guys. Mmm. Accidentally went a little further. Don't tell, don't tell. But Game Boy Advance, Fire Red on, yeah, Game Boy Advance, Japanese version, boxed. So this one is a pretty cool item. I know in English this is selling for like 150 uh might be 200 or $300. Like it is insane. If you still have your Pokemon games in the box and everything, keep them or just send me a message actually. I'm happy to probably buy them off you. As I said, I'm going to start collecting. But yeah, this also comes with your little receiver there. Box is in pretty good nick. I haven't actually opened this one up yet, to be honest. So, oh, yep, you got your game there, Game Boy Advance. Nothing wrong with a bit of manhandling. And then that's like a, I think you can send Pokemon to another uh, console. 2004, that one, unbelievable. Yeah, there's a couple of booklets. Nothing too shit hot. Mmm. Smells old. Smells vintage. Alright. So that's a cool collector's piece. As I said, like, the English versions of these, like the Australian one in particular, because you obviously got your US, A, your Europe, and then you got your Oz version. And the Oz one's obviously worth uh, a lot more. And they're the pinnacle. This game was one of my favourites on Game Boy Advance, which is the 
Pokemon Sapphire. This only came the other day. This is a nice box. Not sure what that was, but look at that. Obviously, there's only one hiccup with the box, but it, you know, you can't do much about it. That's ripped off, but you know, what do you expect? It is 16 years old or so. But yeah, this has got, there's your little game there, your booklets. It's got everything in there, Game Boy Advance SP, and there's the original booklet with Kyogre on the front. He is a sick Pokemon, big fan. Torchic, everything. That is sick. I might actually even pull them out and put them in my Game Boy Advance, but we'll see. Yeah, as I said, I'm going to try and... I will, when, as I buy consoles and stuff, I will do videos on them. But um, there's a lot of Pokemon console versions. A lot released in Japan that are now like $600 plus. Dollars. Um, very limited. It's insane. It is insane. Next we have... I have this on, which I will show you in the video too. This is Pokemon Stadium, a Japan version for Nintendo 64. I don't know if any of you remember Pokemon Stadium. Way there, wait. Forgot I've had this, this collector's item for a while. I've got the English one, boxed up. Pokemon Stadium in English, boxed with the Nintendo 64 transfer packs. So you could play Pokemon Red, Yellow, a Blue on the 64, which was insane. And yes, I think I got this for like 40 or 50 bucks, like last year, year before. I don't think you realize that it's selling for 200 plus. Actually, I've seen it for about 150 online, so it's pretty sick. But yeah, the Japanese version's pretty much, obviously the box is a lot smaller, you don't get all the extra stuff in there. Um, Bruh. But it is Pokemon Stadium. But it does have different Pokemon. It's got like Gen 2 Pokemon on there, as opposed to Gen 1 on that. It's got Cyndaquil on here, so I'm a bit confused. Maybe I'll plug it in. I think it plays on... Actually, it might only play on... Um, it might only play on a Japanese 64. But it does say 95 to the... Anyway, not too sure about that. I'm going to look into it, because it does have Lugia. And Ho-Oh on there. I tell you what, this is bloody confusing because while we're there, I have Pokemon Stadium 2 in Japan as well. But that has every single Gen 1 Pokemon on there. It does have Electabars. Oh no, he is Gen 1. Damn, bro, it's got all the Gen 1 Pokemon. But then Pokemon Stadium 1 has the Gen 2 Pokemon. I'm going to look it, into it. Well, that's definitely the game I had. Well, what's this shit then? I am confused immensely because that is all this, everything from this. I am uh, ultra confused and that is Pokemon Stadium 2. Obviously, I can't read Japanese, but that says 2. Um, that says gold and silver, I'm assuming. Gold and silver. I'll do a voiceover straight after this to clarify what the go is, but yeah, interesting as hell that Pokemon Stadium 1, or Gold and Silver, has Gen 2 on there, Pokemon Stadium 2, which seems you'd think come out second, has all the Gen 1, anyway. Okay, so I just did a bit of research on this, um, so it turns out that in August of 1998, in Japan only, they released Pocket Monsters Stadium. But it lacked a lot of features and only showcased 41 out of the 151 Pokemon, so it was never released worldwide. The following year, a sequel was released, known as what I have here, Pocket Monsters Stadium 2, which was in April of 1999, which was eventually released worldwide in early 2000 as Pokemon Stadium. Pocket Monsters Gold and Silver, which is known as Pokemon Stadium 2 in English, was released when the gold and silver games were released for generation two so there you go that's also boxed i think it's got booklets and shit in this one that is sick look at that mm, smells old again once again smells old what is all this stuff yep you got all the books manual yeah, that's a game I played. That's that's Pokemon Stadium in English, so absolutely no idea what's going on. That is insane. 
So anyway, that's that's what I've got going at the moment, console wise. I may have purchased a couple, three consoles on the way. Um, I got them cheap as hell, knowing that the price of them are going up because they're all boxed. So if they're in the box with everything, like ever since coronavirus as well, like the inflation has been absolutely effing insane. Um, people throwing money left, right, and center. So anyway. Like, subscribe, do all that jazz, all the fun stuff, um, and yeah, continue to watch. i got some shit coming. Um, yeah, I'll spend the money for you guys. You don't have to do it, so thank you.